Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Michaela, and today I'm standing outside of Kumamoto Castle in Kumamoto Prefecture. The sun has gone down and I'm freezing cold, and in just a few more minutes, once it gets darker, Kumamoto Castle is gonna light up, and I'm gonna go on a night tour of the castle. And I've been to this castle before. I used to live in Kumamoto City, but I've never seen it at night, and I don't think many Japanese people have either. So I'm gonna take the special opportunity to tour the castle at night and show it all to you. Our tour starts at Ninomaru Park, a large open space on the perimeter of Kubamoto Castle. Going through the gates and being transported back in time. I wonder if we'll find any samurai. <laughs> what is, what's happening? What's happening? Hello. Hey. Oh. I was greeted at the gate of the castle by Kumamoto Castle's Omotenashi Bushotai, a band of historical figures. Oh! Oh! Am I doing it right? Am I... Oh! It opened! It opened! This is exciting! <laughs> After a brief opening ceremony, they kindly led me to the castle, giving me a brief history lesson along the way. Then I said goodbye to the Bushotai and headed to the main castle, taking an underground passage called Kuragari Tsuro, the Passage of Darkness. We are leaving the Passage of Darkness. And it is even darker outside, oh my goodness. But right behind me, check this out, this is beautiful. Kumamoto Castle in all its lit up glory. If you do drop by Kumamoto Castle, you absolutely must see the reconstructed Hon Marugoten, the palace reception hall. So now we are inside Hon Marugoten. Hon Marugoten was built in the 1600s and then later burnt down in the 1800s. When Kumamoto Castle underwent a massive 10 year restoration project, this building was fully restored. And inside the restored palace, you can see remnants of ancient Japan and learn a little bit about the history and politics behind castle life. This place is really beautiful. I wish I was important enough to live in a castle. This room is beautiful and there's a ton of attention to detail in each of the photos, but what I like most is the roof. And while you're visiting the palace, there's one thing here you absolutely must try. So now I'm at Honmaru Gozen and I'm waiting for some traditional Kumamoto cooking, Kyodo Ryori. You need to make a reservation beforehand, but for 3,000 yen, you can enjoy a historical meal at the palace. It's really fascinating because each dish is so different, not only in the way that they look, but in the ingredients that they use. And every dish has its own unique flavor. I've eaten so much food and I need to have a nap. <laughs> but I can't. I can't. The tour must go on. On to our next destination. Finally, we're going to climb this big boy and see the entire city from the top. Great. This castle's huge! <laughs> and it doesn't have an elevator, so hiking time. I'm getting kind of chubby lately, so I guess it's good that I take the stairs. Entering from the basement, the castle's main tower is six stories high. <laughs> The climb to the top of the main castle can sound a bit daunting at first, but trust me, it's worth the extra legwork to make it to the top. Uh -oh. 
can you imagine living in a place where this was your nightly view? It's so beautiful and relaxing. So there you have it, Kumamoto Castle at night. It's very like monochromatic, if that's the right word. Especially if you're into like Japanese history, Japanese architecture, you would love places like this. Check it out, Kumamoto Castle here in Kumamoto Prefecture. It's gorgeous.